Hi, I'm Jim Todd from RW Beckett. I want to go over the NX burner with you today. The NX burner is a burner that you will find on your spirit furnace. And the one that I've got here is set up for a Thermal Pride product, the manufacturers of the spirit. The tools that you will need to work on the burner are 3 8 adjustable wrench to bleed the pump, 7 16 adjustable, or excuse me, open end wrench, multi screwdriver, and a 5 16 nut driver. The burner itself is a high static pressure burner with easy adjustments. The adjustments on the burner themselves will adjust the air and the head position all in one false swoop. That is done with this adjustment mechanism here. And the way you'll adjust it is simply going from zero with no air to five full air by turning the screw accordingly. To get to the drawer assembly, you will take the nozzle line off with your 7 16 open end wrench. Take the access door off the back. You don't have to remove it entirely, just loosen up the screws. The plate will fall down. It's held in place like that. And then take the igniter Loosen up the igniter so that it pops up on the prop. And now you can pull the drawer assembly directly out. When you pull the drawer assembly out, you will find a throttle cup that does your air adjustment and the head. The throttle cup has mica windows in it now for better sighting. When you fire this in a furnace with a refractory inside it, you'll find that your ohms readings will run somewhere between 400 to 800 ohms. As you pull it apart, you'll see that the adjustment mechanism comes out with it so that you haven't disturbed the adjustment. To access the nozzle, for changing the nozzle, all you'll do is take a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen up the head, and slip the head off. Now with your appropriate wrenches, you can take off the nozzle with a 3 quarter inch wrench and a 5 8 inch wrench if you have to change the nozzle. The electrode setting stayed in place. You'll check the electrode setting using a T gauge. Putting the head back on, there is a notch in it and there is a brooch in the bottom. We just line them up, slip them together, and then tighten that Phillips head screw up again. The adjustment mechanism has an adjustment plate on the bottom that is calibrated from 0 to 5. This is a three-piece plate. There will be occasions where you have to zero out the head. That's very simple on the NX because the NX has stops in the end of the retention ring. And what we'll do is take the adjustment mechanism when we put it all back together again. We'll put the drawer assembly back in, put the adjustment mechanism back on, bring our plate back, push this all the way down, put our plate on, close the door. Tighten up our screws. And to zero out this burner, it's very simple. You don't even need to think about using a gauge or a ruler. We will take the adjustment mechanism and we will turn the adjustment mechanism until the adjustment mechanism goes to zero. Which is all the way to the front. Then I'll loosen up this acorn nut on the top. This is the only time I work with this acorn nut. So I'll loosen up the acorn nut, and I will push my drawer assembly all the way forward until the head hits the stops in the end of the retention ring. Now I will tighten up that acorn nut,
and with my spline nut on, which I don't have on here for simplicity, I will back the, the adjustment back to wherever the adjustment was supposed to be in the book. In this case, it should have been about a three. So I've got this at a two and a half. Now I've got it on a three. I will close my igniter. Put my nozzle line back on with my spline nut in place. Remember, I don't have the spline nut there. And now I can fire off the burner and make my adjustments accordingly. If I find my CO2 is too high, I will move the head forward to give it less air. If I find my CO2 is too low, I will bring the head backwards towards five to give it more, uh, to give it to change my air adjustment. Excuse me, I did that backwards. Too low, I'm going to give it less air. I'm going to move it forward. Too high, I'm going to bring it backwards towards five for more air. And that's where my adjustment is. If I find that I have a house that does not have enough combustion air in it, I can bring combustion air directly to the burner by removing the air inlet. and installing an outside air pit. And there's two screws that will hold it down, screwed right into the top here. Now I can bring four inch right to it and go out to a four inch hood. And it's that simple to bring air to it. You'll notice that there is a refractory around the end of this one. That is because this burner is set up for a hard chamber that you would find inside, or a chamber like you would find inside the spirit furnace. That's basically the adjustments on it. The burner uses a Genesis 7505. The 7505 does not have a jumper across TT. That should be connected into your uh, control or jumped if you're in a case where you're working with a boiling. Adjustments of the control itself are done easily enough by plugging a contractor's tool into the side here into COM port 1 or just working with the factory settings that come through on it. That is the NX burner. If you're having trouble with the NX burner, which is unlikely with the Spirit product, if you're having trouble with the NX burner, you can call us at 1-800-OIL-BURN and tech service will walk through it with you. It does have a clean cut pump on it. Because it has a clean cut pump, make certain that you flush your oil lines before you initiate the burner for the first time. That way you will not end up plugging the bypass in here and running into what's called a pre-time flame failure. The Genesis control is set up so that if it sees flame, when there's not supposed to be flame, it will lock out. And that is a safety feature of the Genesis control. So that, in a nutshell, is the NX burner. Going through it again, access to that drawer assembly, pop the igniter, open up the door, Pop the door down, remove your nozzle line, loosen up your spline nut, pull this up a little bit, give it a tug out. And that's how you get to that drawer assembly. One thing you do want to do, do want to take note of is the mica. If you see carbon built up on the back of this mica window, you are drawing carbon in from the outside air. That's the only way the carbon would build up in here. And that means you've got cross-contamination. If you see carbon on this side or a head that is carboned up, you're getting too much reflected heat at the end of cycle. So you can take your contractor's tool and increase the post purge on the Genesis, con on the Genesis control. It's that simple. Oh, this particular burner is shipped with a low fire baffle on it. The low fire baffle 
is this plate that goes right across here. If you were to look into the burner and see the fan blades, that would tell you that there's no low fire baffle installed. If you cannot see the fan blades, you have a low fire baffle. If the installation says that you do not need the low fire baffle, the low fire baffle is removable by taking this Phillips head screw out and the plate will come out. And it's that simple. I thank you for the quick and easy setup of a Genesis of a, the Genesis control and the NX burner. The only thing I will caution you on with an NX burner is because it is a high static pressure burner, this particular burner will give you efficiencies that you may not be accustomed to. What you would should do is you should try to find trace point on the appliance record your CO2 at trace point, and then open up the air so that you drop the CO2 about one and a half points. That will give you a zero smoke. How do you drop that CO2? Just simply turn that screw so that you give it more air. When you get finished with it, you probably will see a CO2 somewhere in the vicinity of 12%, maybe a little higher depending on the air temperature. So that's the Beckett NX. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks very much.